So my name is Diana and um, I am not a social media person but I was having trouble sleeping and I was scrolling through Facebook and bumped into uh, Apostle Catherine's video and when I saw the first one I literally fell off my chair because I had been praying for a revival and you know just to see God's movement across the entire United States and the world uh, in general and so after that I started researching her right because you're like okay what's going on right and so I was able to see that she is grounded in the word and that she was anointed by God and not all the stuff that people were saying out there because it's really easy to clip videos and make it look like what you want and so don't let them fool you because that is false prophecy <laughs> Amen. And so I continued to watch them um, and I wasn't sleeping, but it was because I was watching the videos because I stayed up till one o'clock sometimes watching Apostle Catherine's videos. And then on the second video uh, that I was watching, I began to renounce and my first one was sleeping, having trouble sleeping. I was waking up a lot at night. I was not sleeping more than three or four hours. And when I renounced it that first day, I slept like a baby, no medications to sleep, no nothing. I just slept all through the night and continued since. So I had been you know, healed from that. Among other things, I continued to renounce. And like Apostle Catherine says, it's in layers. It was, you know, first you think of everything that you wanna renounce and God begins to work with you. And I thought I was done. And I, so I watched more of her videos and grounded in God's word spent more time with him, um, things came to the surface. The Holy Spirit brought other things up, like not realizing that I was lukewarm, that I did have a foot out and a foot in, because you want to do everything, you're hungry, but yet nothing is happening and you don't know why. And Apostle Catherine is like teaching people the whys, the ifs, and the hows, and to see that it was, I was opening doors, I was okay with, you know, either having a glass of wine or just something simple, not getting inib inebriated like they say, but just I knew that immediately God was telling me that's a foothold. And so you can't let Satan come in in any way. And so I continued to dig into the word and um, wanted Apostle Catherine to come to Virginia Beach the next day. <laughs> I was like, we need revival, uh, amen. But I continued to look at her videos and then I saw that she was coming to North Carolina and I prayed about it because uh, as a single mom and my son, we were like, we didn't know if we could do it, but God opened up every single door, the place to stay with every hotel was packed. I found a room. Um, he opened the doors to take off from work. Uh, my son came with me and he was super excited. All he talked about for five hours was Apostle Catherine and how he's gonna meet her uh, and talk to her about God because he knows what the five in one ministry is from school and that he was starting to be a teacher and later would be a pastor. And so that was like eye opening as well. And he came with me tonight and he just began to cry and God again tonight revealed more things to me. And he also showed me how I needed to renounce my insecurity of speaking God's word and saying that I don't understand it when I know that the Holy Spirit lives inside of us and will help us interpret it. So it was just a blessing to be able to be here and be in the anointing. And it doesn't matter if you can make it or not because you will be touched by this anointing through social media like I was. So it was just a blessing and I just wanna say thank you to Apostle Catherine and to you uh, because all of her team is just amazing. You're multitaskers and you just make it happen so that um, other people will hear God's word and that's what I pray over myself and my son that we too can share the gospel. Thank you.